Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal and for today's video I'm going to be sharing how my in-laws make these mangoneadas. These mangoneadas are perfect for a hot day or just a nice treat. Pretty much mangoneadas are blended up mangoes with chamoy which is a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy. So it's just that perfect sweet and spicy uh, popsicle treat to have. Um, I will be putting the ingredients of course down in the description so if this is a video you guys enjoy don't forget to give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this feel free to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So you're going to need two mangoes and my father-in-law here is peeling all the mangoes completely. Um, using a potato peeler is just much easier to do it this way. So peeling all the mango completely and then after that he will cut them. So what you will need is two mangoes, sugar, and the sugar is going to depend how sweet your mango is and how ripe it is. Um, my mother-in-law does add about three spoonfuls that you guys will see in a bit. And then we are going to be using a blender and water. You're going to need a cup. Now it's going to be whatever size you want to use, but we do recommend using an 8 ounce one. And then you're also going to need some kind of popsicle stick just to hold the mangoneada. So here my father-in-law is cutting the mango. And if you're not familiar with a mango, it does have a, a core in the middle, which is a hard pit. Um, you're going to have to cut around that and just get as much mango as you can. You don't have to worry about dicing this up really nice because pretty much we're going to blend this in the blender. So like I said here, my father-in-law is just cutting the mango, getting it ready, and we're going to start off with two mangoes um, for our mangoneadas. Now it's going to depend what size of cup you guys use um, or what kind of mold you use to make these mangoneadas, and that will depend. But with this recipe, you should be able to get a couple of uh, mangoneadas out of this. So here my father-in-law, like I said, is cutting them. That is my in-laws. They're so beautiful. I love being around them. Um, so here they're, um, he's cutting it, and as he's getting to the pit, he's just trying to get as much as he can off of that mango. So before she starts blending the mango, she has all the cups ready. And since she's making a few of them, she has them on the tray because she's going to put them in the freezer once they're all ready. Um, you can use any chamoy that you guys have or your favorite kind. This is just the one that we're using for today. And then besides the chamoy, um, we're adding it to the bottom. We're also going to be adding a different kind of chamoy that is special for micheladas. Um, my in-laws found it at a candy store that they sell in this area but I'm sure you guys can find it in a grocery store. This is just an extra step because the chamoy is not super spicy at all. It just has a little kick but not really to be honest um, and that was the one that you guys saw right here. She's just saying that she has two mangoes and that she is adding three spoonfuls of sugar but really it's going to de depend on your taste if you want to add less or more. This is just what she adds and then she's going to fill up the whole blender um, with water all the way uh, to the top and then she's gonna blend the mangoes and she starts off really slow and then you will see that she speeds it up until it's um, all purified and pretty much that's it that's your mangoneada so she just starts filling up the cups that have the mango in the bottom because when you uh, freeze them and you pull them out you want the chamoy on the bottom but on some of them you'll see in a bit that she swirls the the, ch the chamoy which you can do as well is totally optional if you want to add diced up mango in there you can also do that or add that on top if you want to add tajin or they have a liquid tajin you can add whatever you want this is just a simple base my sister-in-law and I even said that we should try making some watermelon ones which I'm sure would be really good um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video pretty much after this my in-laws just freeze it for a couple of hours or overnight is best and this is what it looks like. You can run the cup um, with some cold water, warm water. Or my sister-in-law gave a great tip and she just rubs the cup between her hands and it just pops right out after a few minutes. This is what it looks like with the chamoy on the top. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you on the next one.